In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own Fallout New Vegas remaster using mods. Fallout 4 New Vegas is a long ways out and the chances of an official remaster happening are slim to say the least. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The very first thing you need to do is actually get the game running well. With modern modding, you can play New Vegas at high frame rates with no crashes. A lot of people say that modded New Vegas is unstable, but honestly, I've never had any of these problems. The way you're going to get your game running like mine is by following the Viva New Vegas guide. You only need to do this first part that I have circled on screen, then I'll take over for more mod recommendations. A link to the guide will be in the description. Once you've gotten that done, we're going to start modernizing the game in other aspects, starting with the user interface. The first UI mod you're going to need is the mod configuration menu. This is exactly what it sounds like, it's an additional menu that lets you configure and customize some mods that you download. The next thing to get is Vanilla UI Plus, which is basically just the default user interface but better in every way. In my opinion this is the best UI mod out there. If you don't like it though, you can always go with Darn UI, which is sort of similar except it has a different font and makes the text a little bit smaller. Now one thing you'll notice is that everything looks kind of blurry, so to fix that we're going to download Clean Vanilla HUD. Just have this override Vanilla UI Plus and now all the text looks great. The Pip-Boy icons could still use some work though, so to make them look significantly better, we're going to download Consistent Pip-Boy Icons, V4. And along with that, Consistent Pip-Boy Icons, V5, Weapons, and Items. Next up is high res local maps, which normally I don't even download this one because I don't look at the local maps, but if you do, then I highly recommend this. Next is high resolution screens, which is exactly what it sounds like and is essential for a better user interface. You'll also want to grab YUI, which fixes some bugs and adds sorting options. I also recommend going into the any file and changing all these zeros to ones. This will make it to where your cursor color will match the rest of the HUD. On top of this, you can grab YUI sorting icons, which will add in a little icon displaying the items in your inventory. If you like how this looks but think it's a bit boring, then you can make them stand out more with colorful inventory Ycons, which has both a brighter and more saturated option depending on your preference. Now to update the old UI further, we're going to get main and pause menu overhaul, which adds in a whole new look for the pause menu and main menu. There's a ton of customization involved with this one, and you can access a lot of these options by pressing N. You can also add in Skyrim style notifications using B42 Notify, which looks pretty nice. And from the same guy, we've got Recent Loot Log, which just shows off all of the stuff you've recently picked up. Moving on to the main menu, we're going to overhaul it with just two mods. First is Truly HD Main Menu and Loading Screens. In my opinion, this is the best looking loading screen replacer on the Nexus. Second is HQ Main Menu Music, which makes the main menu music higher quality. Now your interface is pretty much done, so we're going to move on to content. Now New Vegas is already a pretty big game, but because of system limitations they had to scale it down a bit. Well, no more. We're starting off this section with Living Desert, which will add in a couple of hundred new NPCs and scripted events. This mod also makes it so your choices have consequences. So for example, if you form an alliance with the Brotherhood of Steel and the NCR, then you may see Brotherhood members walking around NCR territory. My favorite thing about this mod is how it makes the world feel much more alive, like there are actual people living here. It gives people their own schedules and has random guys walking around. To add on to this feeling, we're going to be downloading Mojave NPCs, which will add in even more NPCs around the Mojave in multiple lore-friendly places. For even more NPCs, we'll use Casino Crowds and Strip Crowd, adding many people to both the casinos and the strip, making it feel more like an actual city. It was always strange how you'd be one of the only people in one of the most popular casinos in the Mojave. Now one of the biggest things that people want from a New Vegas remake is for all of the cut content to be restored. If you didn't know, there's a ridiculous amount of cut content for this game, and entire sections that were scrapped due to time constraints or hardware limitations. We're going to try to restore some of this content with the mod Uncut Wasteland. New Vegas Uncut Panzerman's Edition and Outside Bets, which is also on the Panzerman's Edition page. 
I think it's better if you experience these mods yourself, just boot up a new game and you'll notice a bunch of little changes around the Mojave. To finish off this segment we have Jay Sawyer Ultimate Edition, which is an updated version of the Jay Sawyer mod. Joshua Sawyer was the lead designer for Fallout New Vegas and made this mod for players that want a more challenging experience and for changes that he liked but wasn't sure if the Fallout 3 audience would like. It makes New Vegas more challenging but also more rewarding with a variety of changes to balance the game. Most people seem to agree that this mod makes New Vegas a lot more fun, especially if you've already played the vanilla games to death. I didn't really do its service with this explanation at all, so if you want to check out more about this mod and what it's all about, just look at the actual mod page itself. You can also get Mojave Raiders and Mojave Wildlife if you feel like the Mojave is still too empty. Next up is Immersion. It feels like modders are always looking for these little details to add into games to make the world feel more immersive. I think this is a bigger thing in the Skyrim community, but I still have some great mods to fix New Vegas' immersion. First up is B42 Inspect. This basically just lets you look closely at your weapons and check condition and ammo without having to go into a main menu. This is especially helpful if you play with the HUD disabled. Another B42 mod is Drop Mag, which will show a magazine on the floor whenever you reload your weapons. There's also some other changes it does, but you can disable all that in the mod configuration menu. Next up is two more mods from Zalandro, B42 Interact, allowing you to see your character lockpicking or pressing buttons, stuff like that. It also has more animations from Hitman that you can add on to it that I recommend. And B42 Looting, which just shows your hands reaching out and grabbing things instead of just magically having them disappear into your inventory. Another new addition will be a smoke before the storm, which just lets you smoke the various cigarettes you find around the Mojave. It always felt weird how there are so many smokers in the game, but you're not allowed to join them. Well, now you can. And this also requires B42 Inject, which is another great mod we're going to be downloading. This animates you using stim packs, and with hits animations, it animates a ton of other things as well. To finish off this section, we're going to make the game look a bit prettier and energy weapons feel a bit more accurate, I guess, to how they'd be in real life. First off, we're going to add in Lumen, Ambient Lighting. Now this just makes things glow that look like they should glow. So for example, this sort of map thing, I think it's in the Brotherhood Bunker. Beforehand it doesn't glow, now it does. Next, we're going to apply the same kind of effect to energy weapons and flamers using Energy Visuals 2.0. This makes all energy weapons and flames light up the area around them, and I think this looks super nice. We'll add in Eve, which is a bit of an older mod, but has been updated throughout the years, and I think it looks really cool. And there's a compatibility patch between these two, and when combined, energy weapons just look completely great. And on top of that, the same guy that made EVE also made another mod called EXE, which is meant to be used with EVE, and it just makes some effects look cooler. Now moving on, we're going to get into gameplay. This section will help significantly with updating the game, and the first mod here is Just Assorted Mods, which will modernize Fallout New Vegas' gameplay to be more like Fallout 4. It adds in sprinting, which is just great. I feel like it's always weird going from a modern game to New Vegas because there's no sprinting, so it just feels like you're moving around super slowly. Well, this mod just completely fixes that. It also adds in hit markers like in Call of Duty, a dynamic crosshair, a GTA style weapon wheel, and the loot menu from Fallout 4. On top of this, it also adds in visual objectives, meaning that you'll be able to see those markers flying on top of people's heads like how it is in Skyrim, and the ability to hold your breath while sniping to make you more accurate. You can even slow down time if you want to be like Neo from The Matrix. So now we've got a lot of the features of a modern game, but combat itself still feels stiff. The main fix for this will be new weapon animations. Specifically, I use Rockbiter's Clean Animations Reborn alongside Clean Animations Part 2 and 3. This will make your weapons have much better looking animations while still keeping a vanilla look. If you want something more extravagant, you can try out Hitman's animations packs. He's got a lot of cool stuff on there. You'll also want B42 weapon inertia to make guns actually feel like they weigh something. 
Moving on to melee weapons, you can grab Rockbiter's Butcher Pete animation set. To cover the rest of the melee weapons, you can grab Sigma Melee Animation Overhaul. And you should also get Sigma Katana just because it looks cool. To make melee attacks feel more impactful, I recommend melee hit stop effects, which slows down time slightly whenever you hit something to give the feeling of weight behind your attack. Now for more specific weapon types, I have even more suggestions. For snipers, I highly recommend B42 Optics, which just makes it to where instead of going to a dark screen, you'll actually be able to see around your scope and you'll be able to zoom in, which is really nice. If you use automatic weapons, then you should get re view model recoil to make them feel more powerful. Recoil doesn't even actually exist in this game, it's just sort of a trick with the animations. So we're gonna actually add in recoil using Immersive Recoil 2.0. Another feature from Fallout 4 to add in is B42 Melee Bash, which will let you hit enemies with your gun. This is great if you run out of ammo or just want to interrupt a reload. Another great addition from Fallout 4 is B42 Quick Throw, which lets you press a button to throw a grenade instead of having to go into your inventory and equip a grenade. And to make gunfights more cinematic, I highly recommend Enhanced Bullet Impacts, which makes the smoke from guns and stuff like that a lot more exaggerated, which I think looks really cool. And the final thing we're going to clean up here is third person which is complained about a lot. I actually don't mind third person in the vanilla game, but if you want to make it better, you can get 360 movement and diagonal movement. Weapon sounds can also be improved with awesome, which replaces all the weapon sounds with more realistic, better sounding ones. Something to keep in mind, of course, is that if you don't like any of these mods, you don't have to install them. So like, if you don't like the weapon sounds and awesome, you don't have to get the mod. These are just recommendations. Now on to visuals. This is the last part of the guide and for this I'll be providing a performance friendly version, the version that I normally use, and a high quality version that uses an insane amount of mods. Now before we get into this though, there are some mods that you should have no matter which version you're using. First is high resolution bloom, which makes the bloom effect look better, and after that is improved LOD noise texture which is essential since the LOD loading in this game looks terrible. Now let's get into the three versions. Starting out with the performance version, there's two big things you'll notice with this game. First is the ugly orange tint that's everywhere. I know some people like it, but most don't. You can fix this with either blue moon weather, which is very faithful to the original weather, or atmospheres, which is a bit different, but has a cool look to it. The second is that the LOD looks terrible, so you're going to cover it up with Dusty Distance Redone, which will make this sort of cool dust effect and is configurable so you can turn it off at night if you still want to be able to see the Lucky 38. LOD is basically just the stuff you use in the distance. If you're wondering what that is, I probably should have explained that a bit earlier. Now moving on to the setup that I use personally. The first thing you want is Desert Natural Weathers, which is my favorite weather mod on the Nexus, is compatible with all the DLCs and even TTW and overhauls everything. Next I use a Radiant Muck, which just makes the muck puddles stand out more. I also like to focus on the things you see most often, so I use the Character Kit Remake Hand Texture, just because you see your hands all the time in this game whenever you're using guns, and the original hand textures looks bad in my opinion. I also use the Pip-Boy 2000 MKVI, or MK6 version, which is a super nice looking replacer for the Pip-Boy. If you prefer a more vanilla look for the Pip-Boy, you can of course download one of the many mods out there that just retextures it normally. For weapons, I alternate between Weapon Textures from Heaven, which is basically just the vanilla textures but better, and WAP, which goes in a different direction for some weapons but is overall very high quality. It really just depends on what weapons I'm using, because there are some guns where I prefer the vanilla look over the WAP look, but there are other ones where the WAP version looks better. For the interiors, I use atmospheric lighting tweaks, which improves the lighting in all interior cells and makes a huge difference in the game. And the main texture mod I use is Super Pele's Disordered Retex Pack, which just makes some nice changes, most noticeably to interiors. I really like the look of this one, but it doesn't cover a whole lot. 
I also use the sandbags retexture from the textures over time mod just because I think the vanilla sandbags look terrible. I also generate my own LOD, which I'll leave a guide for that in the description. There's a great YouTube video for it. And that's about it. You'll notice I don't really use that many retextures just because it makes the game load slower and I think the vanilla game looks fine with just these sort of lighting and weather mods. Finally, we have the high quality version, which will make your game a lot less stable. We're gonna start this one off by installing NMC's Texture Pack, which is the most popular mod on the entire Nexus, and retextures a wide variety of things in the game. I'm also using most of my previous mods with Desert Natural Weathers, Radiant Muck, Hitboy2000, MKVI, WAP, Year 1 and Bonus, Atmospheric Lighting Tweaks, and Super Pele's Disordered Retexture Pack. For the landscape, I'm using Legacy Reborn along with Procedural Dirt Retexture, and to finish it off, Simply Upscaled Grass. For the quarries, I'm using Remastered Quarries, and for all the creatures in the game, I'm using Creatures HD. For people, I'm using all of the Character Kit Remake, which covers the face, hair, teeth, and hands for all characters. And for robots, I'm using Robots HD. For Super Mutants, I'm using Super Mutants HD 4K. To cover a ton of clutter, I'll be using MG's Neat Clutter Retextures, Micro Clutter, Six's Clutter Retexture Pack, Black Wolf 24's HD Clutter Pack Part 1 and 2, and all of these physically based mods. Now we can cover all vaults with Inviting Vaults of Vault Retexture, and cover furniture with Stupendous Seats, Chairs Retextures, we'll get carpets with Improved Rugs HD, and Repleasant Rugs HD. We'll cover even more uh, textures with HD Miscellaneous Utility Objects, HD Miscellaneous Musical Objects, and HD Memorials and Monuments. Now for some smaller items, we'll get HD Currencies, Food HD, 4K Medkit Replacer, Sandbags by Aubrey, High Quality Picket Fences, Gamora Vase, Dead Money Radio, Playing Cards HD, Plus Casino Tables, Elegant Lockpick Retexture, Better Books, Magazines of Unparalleled Visual Quality, Fallout 4 New Vegas Auto Dock, Fallout 4 New Vegas Repcon Rocket, Mormon Gate Fort Redux, PM's HD Ammo Boxes, 4K Animated Metal Box Replacer, Nut Street Litter Redone, Parking Blocks, Rectified Water Towers, Dinky the Dinosaur Deluxe, Vanilla Graffiti Redone, High Res Posters and Graffiti, Vintage Globe, Shadow Strike Katana Replacer, 4K Animated Cash Register, Wood Wall Shelves, Pool Table and Items, Fallout 4 New Vegas Billboards, Architecture Retexture Pack, Forgotten Desk Retextures, HD One Handed Melee, and PM's Med Retextures. Now, with that all of the way, we can move on to clothing. The first mods for clothes we'll use is an AI upscale of every single outfit in the game, all non-DLC retext with MIP map, and for the DLC, all DLC clothing retext with MIP map. Now these aren't bad, but we can do better. For armors that we'll see often, we're gonna want something even nicer. Starting off with the sorted NCR armor retexture, PM's Legion overhaul, PM's HD ranger outfits, Adam Punk leather armor, Adam Punk vault suits, Fallout 4 New Vegas Desert Ranger, and Legged Armor Retexture. Now, for some that I forgot to mention, Motorcycles Remastered, Nut Water Overhaul, Enhanced Blood Retexture, Fallout 4 Blood Retexture, Power Armor Visual Enhancement, All Cowboy Has Retexture, 4K Workbench Replacer, 4K Nuka Cola Machine Replacer, Burt's Improved Plants, Lucky 38 Exterior Remastered, and 4K Mojave Dropbox. Now finally to finish this off, we'll be adding in New Vegas Reloaded, which adds in shadows and is kind of like an ENB, except it actually looks good and doesn't completely tank your performance. Well, it does tank your performance, but not as bad. Now, personally, I wouldn't recommend this texture setup at all. It might look nice, but it's a major pain to download all these mods. It will make your game run terribly unless you've got a great computer. Now, you've remastered pretty much everything in New Vegas, and all it cost you was a long time in Mod Organizer 2 and watching this video. If you liked the video, subscribe, and if I left out any other mods, let me know in the comments. I think I'll pin a comment and then 
add in a ton of extra mods if people recommend them and I like them. All right, that's about it.